So chocolate is becoming a luxury item in Argentina. Folks, welcome to a channel talking about the situation in Argentina with over 220% inflation as of, well, this past year. That's how it ended. 220% inflation. It is insane. Expected for this month, about 30% inflation too. So you're looking at a scenario of things getting very tough. But it's still interesting to notice that many of the things that we talk about in terms of survival and preparedness, in terms of, of classic economic preparedness, things that are valuable. Notice that chocolate. Chocolate is one of the most, uh, the, it's one of the food products that has shown the high, one of the highest increases. Uh, food in general, alimentos is food in general, 60% up, chocolate 50%. And chocolate is, a, is an interesting case. Chocolate actually in, in employs about 2 million slave workers worldwide. Lots of the kids that work uh, making uh, cocoa beans for chocolate in Africa, they're not just child workers, they're child slaves. They don't, don't even get paid. And there's been a very interesting development in terms of, of lawsuits and some of the biggest food companies in the world say, well, oh, there's nothing we can do about this. This is just the way it is. It is insane. We live in a crazy world where some of the luxury goods, which chocolate definitely is, is being done by slaves in Africa as of right now. Um, and yeah, at the same time, it is internationally priced. The price of chocolate, coffee, oil, these are all things that, you know, the, the price is pretty much set. And in the case of Argentina, where now they're, um, you know, removing a lot of restrictions, well, things are starting to be worth whatever it is. And that will take some time to balance until that point where, hey, I'm working for what? How many chocolate bars am I working for? How many uh, kilos or pounds of wheat or flour or, or um, pasta can I afford? Okay, so I have to earn this much. Until that point is reached, there's going to be a lot of struggling for the working class and especially for those that are below the poverty line. But this is the only way to go. Removing restrictions was the right call, but it's going to be tough times ahead for Argentina, just like it's going to be tough times ahead for most of us all over the world. Guys, see you on the next video. Take care.